We're back to the Neil Haley Show, also the media giant effect. I'm excited to welcome the program professional soccer player, former Fred pro soccer player, but an amazing guy and also entrepreneur, Jesse Bradley. Jesse, thanks for stopping by. Last time we talked about the story, man, and you overcame things like so many professional athletes overcome to the level that, you know, you look at, we don't figure out what we want to do. We go through these struggles. We don't know, hey, you know, I was doing this for so long. And sometimes we never figure ourselves at all. So you saw your faith, you move forward, and you have all these amazing goals and dreams to accomplish. What does 2023 sound like for Jesse Bradley? And like, again, I still, it's 2022 still here. I'm not wishing it out, but tell me. That's it, Neil. I appreciate your show, your passion, and how you just bring people on board who are going to add value, encourage, inspire. And in my life, you know, those lowest points have become a fuel and they forged a passion and purpose in my life that I get to live out now. And I really discovered during COVID, I want to share, bring hope to more people. I want to see people empowered. I want to see people who can then cultivate hope habits. You know, hope is relational and the quality of our lives are determined by relationships, family, friends, coworkers, also I think spiritually with God. But in addition to the relational, there are specific intentional and practical steps we can take. And we've been doing digital campaigns in 2022 and it's been so fruitful. You know, right now we're in the middle of the World Cup and I've been an analyst for CBS Sports, which is a lot of fun to talk soccer. But then also we launched hope campaigns and the traction that those have gained, it, it's really blown our minds because you know millions of people are going through the content and then we have a different focus on each one. Sometimes we focused on marriage and how to strengthen your marriage. Sometimes we focused on hope habits. We've talked about adoption and even spiritually. And the last uh, campaign that we ran spiritually there were over 200,000 people, this is globally, that said they want to start a relationship with God. So right now, we're in the middle of some campaigns. We're following up. You know when you have a plan on paper and then the reality exceeds it? Yes. And you're trying to make those shifts and adjustments. It's like, okay, how do we cover this? What do we do here? And continually learning. I think making those mid-course adjustments in any business, any profession, noticing what worked this year, what we learned from it. But I think the potential digitally, and I say this, anyone who's listening, whatever space you're in, whether it's personal or business, what can happen online? And that can involve social media, website, app. It's like historically when the printing press came out and all of a sudden doors flew open. I mean, right now, the impact, it's exponential. And mm -hmm. I mean, Neil, you see this, uh, radio, television. And what used to traditionally be, you know, grab a show and it's only on radio or television. Right. Now the multiplication happens because people share it. It's on social media. It's video. It's YouTube. And when yeah. things go viral, it's gone. And then that's so much fun because you see so many change lives. So what do you think? Uh, like you talk about the goal in the campaign. So what do people you're setting up for the campaign? Is it for to, to, for an event? What is it? Jesse. Yeah, we we believe hope has a lot of different ways that it can play out in people's lives. And we think local and global. So we're very involved in Seattle. We have a lot of different events. We have a lot of resources we give away. And then globally, we're tackling different initiatives, like we're sponsoring kids in Cambodia uh, so they can have their needs met. We're also providing clean water in Africa. We're collaborating with World Vision. So, you know, hope wow. has practical expressions. We want to see everyone have clean water in Africa by 2030. So those are some big picture goals. You start out, build on islands of strength, more victories, and then there's momentum, more people get involved. Collaboration and partnerships are where it's at. And then in addition to that, uh, we're providing free content for people because people want things on their phone. They want it convenient. They want videos. Uh, right now, shorts are king as well. So less than a minute. But we provide practical stuff and we create a new website, uh, jessebradley.org, revivinghope.com, either one. People can go there and everything's free. Uh, people want free resources. So we have a 30-day Strengthen Your Marriage free video course. We have a free course, seven days. And those seven days, one habit each day, and it's reviving hope in people's lives. And they're things that are practical. They, they can do it. Uh, you know, I say this four stages with learning a new habit so people won't get discouraged because it doesn't always just click in. I know January comes, people have some resolutions, new habits. The first one is unconscious incompetence. You don't know what you don't know, right? Some habits you didn't even know they'd be good for you, they exist. And then the next step is you have conscious incompetence, meaning you start to try it and you just can't get it. 
And then you have conscious competence. We are starting to learn it. You got to be really intentional, focused, but it's starting to come. And then you have unconscious competence where it just, it's natural. It's like tying your shoe. You know, I didn't, when I was a goalkeeper and I didn't know how to catch, I didn't even know the W was the proper technique, right? And then I tried to catch a ball and there was no W with my thumbs. It was kind of spread out and I dropped the ball. And then I was overthinking about the W, but I, I was getting my W on the ball. And then lastly, it's just natural. I'm diving the upper corner and I'm catching it with the W. So any habit, and that's true, you know, with gratitude. I say a gritty gratitude, learn how to give thanks when you don't feel thankful. Yeah. And just start with 10 things you're thankful for today. When you give that gratitude, you're going to focus on what you don't, what you do have instead of what you don't have. It's going to change you on the inside. You're going to become, you know, um, a more positive attitude. You're going to see the world differently. And that habit of gratitude, that is like a gateway for a lot of other things that can happen in your life. Um, one other one I, I think is really important, forgiving people fully every day. Don't let the sun go down with resentment and bitterness. That's poison for you. Don't carry it. So that works in marriage. That's been a key in, in my marriage. I think that's key in every marriage, conflict resolution. But you've got to talk about it. Have honest and humble conversations because that's where the fruit is. But I'll, I'll tell you, when you forgive everyone fully, it doesn't mean what they did was okay. But you're making a choice. Uh, if you don't forgive and you hold on to resentment, you're putting yourself in a jail and you got to step out of that. So this is an intentional choice to forgive fully every day. Healing is a process. That doesn't happen right away. But make the first step, which is forgiveness and let go of that grudge so that you can really love people, you know? And so these are the kind of habits. Again, you kind of get the scope. It's personal. It's local. It's digital. It's global. And you know, I'm someone, it's hard to say no sometimes. That's probably a good goal for 2023 is just what to say no to. But I'm energized by all this stuff. And yeah, I'll right. tell you, your pain points can become your greatest points of motivation. And because I didn't grow up with any clue about God, when I learned, you know, how good God is and how much he loves me, it's like, I want people to know. Uh, my parents got divorced. So I want to strengthen marriages and see people flourish in marriage. I also want to see adoption happen because no kid should be without a forever family. You know, there's different things I can point to. You know, I, my career ended tragically in Africa with professional soccer. I love to encourage athletes. Uh, we have faith and family with Seattle Sounders here, Tacoma Stars. So wow. whatever's happening in your life that is uh, really disappointing, painful, low points, what can you learn from that? And then... There's a rebuilding that happens. And I believe that's what's deeply fulfilling is when you can help people who are in that same situation as you. And that's what I love to, to turn around and be a part of, whether that's pastor, speaker, author, you know, whatever the means are, I don't really care. See, I'm, 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 impressed. Video, I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely impressed by you and even more than the last time because you really are telling us what's coming up. I know you as a humble person are going to tell the story. We're not going to talk about all these initiatives you have. And they're fantastic initiatives. And you're doing so much in the community of Seattle and in all over the world. And it's just very, very impressive. What do you want to tell our listeners and viewers about like what they should think about to do? Go ahead. Yeah, I think you come alive when you serve. And if there's part of you that's been dead or it's just been on the shelf, like when you're using all your gifts and you're seeing lives transform, there's nothing better. So when you give your life away, when you invest in other people, like people are eternal and you've got to really focus on what your core message is, what you're really called and gifted to do in this world to make this a better place, and then go all in. There's gonna be a cost. Some people won't like what you're doing and there's gonna be some pushback, some shade, anything that's out there on social media, there's gonna be a lot of haters. So just know that's gonna happen already. Don't be rattled, don't be surprised. And just keep going, lock arms and collaborate with people who have the same values and shared passion. And I'll add this, your performance is never your identity. When you're doing all these things and everything's going great, just remember who you are is not what you do. And you know, my identity shift was from soccer and academics and achievement into just knowing I'm loved by God. And that security and that freedom that comes when you know that, uh, I mean, for me, I decided to follow Jesus at Dartmouth College. Never read the Bible before that. It was kind of a radical change in my life. But I'll tell you, that relationship, it touches everything I do. It's not compartmentalized into like one day, one hour, one building. And when you're abiding in that kind of love, you have a source greater than you and you're asking for wisdom and love, it's going to flow through you. So there's no limits to what can happen in 2023. Uh, don't put too much pressure on yourself all about one resolution. Instead, it's that full life that comes and think through how you can serve other people. And I'll, I'll add this to inner health is where it starts. 
So I, I mentioned before, forgiving other people, gratitude. You know, what's the internal condition of your soul? And it's not going to come through buying stuff. It's not going to come through chasing after pleasures. It's a deeper peace. And I think together we need to learn how to love each other. And when you are at peace with who you are and you're secure and you're loved, and that love is um, solid, indestructible, then you're going to be able to love other people more and take some relationship risks this year. The best things happen, I believe, when we pray, listen, and take some relationship risks. So that's my encouragement. I know we covered a lot in a few minutes, but yeah. uh, we're, we're just rolling into the new yeah. year. Excited about what's exactly. going on. JesseBradley.org, correct? Is that that's correct? right. Thank you. And then also, uh, we're, you're still doing the World Cup stuff, or is that a, is a, the commentary? We're, That's right. I'm on CBS Sports tonight. Uh, looking forward to that. And uh, we're diving in. Coming down to the finish, I picked Argentina, so I'm going to stick with them the whole way That in the beginning of the tournament. Messi, it might be his finally his turn to, to grab the World Cup trophy. And then social media, Jesse J. Bradley on all platforms. Love to hear from you, hear your story. Whatever you want to talk about, uh, let's do it. I love connecting with people. All right. You're listening and watching The Neil Haley Show. We'll be back in just a moment.